What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how to randomize your Pokemon Sword and Shield? Well stay tuned and I'll show you exactly that. Alright guys, well today I'm going to show you how to uh, randomize your Pokemon Sword and Shield on the Yuzu emulator. Um, if you don't know about the Yuzu emulator, I will uh, leave a link in the description below uh, that'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but just to give you a quick summary of what it is, uh, Yuzu is a Nintendo Switch emulator. Um, it allows you to play uh, any Pokemon Switch game on your computer. Um, it does take a decent computer to run it. Um, I have a decent computer and mine lags from time to time. Uh, it's not unplayable, but it's not uh, it's not the best. So you need uh, you need a decent computer to to do that. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to randomize your Pokemon. Um, so when I first um, randomized my Pokemon Sword, um, my very first video uh, way back in the channel, um, I looked at so many videos on um, on YouTube about how to randomize it, and I could not figure it out. Eventually, I had to go through and put pieces from different videos and combine them all into into one thinking because some videos uh, showed a correct part, some videos didn't, uh, some videos did, some videos didn't, so on and so forth. So I just had to kind of put them together to figure out how to do it. And then when I finally figured out how to do it, it was like a breakthrough, you know, when you finally when you finally learn something when you're in school and you're you're struggling to understand something and you and you finally figure it out and you're like wow this is easier than i thought well that's this so i'm going to show you exactly how to do it and uh you do exactly what i do and uh you should be able to uh randomize your pokemon sword or shield on the yuzu emulator okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to download Yuzu. I will have that link in the description below. Yuzu right here. Um, I have the uh, experimental version. Uh, when you download yours, you will have the regular version of Yuzu. Um, they're both the same. The only thing that's different is mine has some experimental features that yours does not have. Um, so when you get your Yuzu, it'll look like this. You want to open your Yuzu. Okay, so mine opened in the other screen. There's Yuzu right there. There's my Pokemon Sword. Uh, so you will need your game. Um, you can just Google uh, where to get the games. Um, just Google like uh, Pokemon Sword uh, ROM, um, and it should pop up, um, and it should be the first link, and you should be able to get that. I won't have it in the description, but you can find it yourself. It's not hard. Uh, all right, so you got your Pokemon Sword game. You need to um, start it up. So I'll go ahead and start mine up. So this is the loading screen of Yuzu. Okay. Don't remember what I think it's you. Okay. Okay, so you want to get to this part right here and make a save because you're going to need that save um, um, for later steps down the line. So you want to get to this part where you're getting ready to choose your starter and go ahead and um, hit the save button. All right. So once you got it saved and you have it on your um, on your files on your computer, you can go ahead and close this or hit the stop button. Okay, so when you get back to this screen, you're going to want to right click on this. You're going to want to go down to dump ROM FS and you want to dump your ROM FS and you want to do, you have two options here, full or skeleton. You want to do a full dump and press OK. So this is going to take a little while because it's dumping 14.9 gigabytes of space. Um, so I will see you guys um, once this uh, finishes up. All right, guys, so we are almost through here. Uh, we've got about 90, 
right about oh there it is it's finished before i can even finish my sentence okay so once that is finished dumping you'll get this folder right here so you're going to want to take this folder right here let's go dump you're going to want to take this folder right here and copy it to your um um to your desktop i am not going to copy mine to my desktop because i already have it copied and it is a massive file it is 14.9 gigs and it is massive so i've already created a folder over here and i will show you we'll bring it bring it on over here okay so all i did was um i changed the numbers so if you go back here um we'll go to um where's the uh dump location here you can go to save data location use you dump okay so i took this folder right here and then just copied it over copied it over to my desktop and i changed it to if you look i changed it to pokemon files that's all i did pokemon game files you so so you'll go in you'll copy this onto your desktop you'll change that file name to pokemon game files or whatever you want to to put it as so if you if you open that folder you should have a rom fs folder and you might have an exe fs folder if you don't create one just right click new folder create one okay um, so create an exe fs folder okay so you'll go into your folder see i got a rom fs folder an exe fs folder so if you don't have that um that exe folder you won't be able to randomize it so you're going to need this exe fs folder so remember when uh earlier when i told you to um save your game this is where that comes in you're going to need your save file from that so in order to get that you'll right click on this one open save data and it'll be this main dot sav file right here you'll just copy that paste it in here okay so when you paste it in here that's all you need to do okay with that part so you're going to need to go uh and download a uh um a an application um or you know file application called pknx okay i will have a link to the description or in the description for that uh application uh you'll have to have a specific one you can't just have uh the latest and greatest because it, it won't allow you to open the files so the link to the one or the link in the description is the one that you need to use in order to open this file okay all right so go to your um pknx here you're gonna want to go down to the where is it oh there okay so you're gonna open this bad boy right here it's gonna say no game loaded you'll hit file open you'll look for your pokemon games you'll hit okay oh i guess i <laughs> i had the wrong file <laughs> all right give me a second here guys let me find the uh the right file here because <laughs> when i did this the first time i downloaded the yep that's what it was okay so that's the wrong one so this is the correct one sorry about that guys this is the correct one so i'll have the link in the description below for the correct one i apologize for that so you're gonna want to open this one put it over here you want to open this one and it'll just have these five files instead of that one that one's the newer one it doesn't allow you to open it so you're going to want to open this right here you can go ahead and close that you'll hit file open you'll browse down to your pokemon game files click that you click ok and it loads see okay so you've got this this loaded so now you can mod to your heart's content um 
there is i will give you some tips um don't mod your trainers um because yuzu only allows you to have uh so many files um so if you go over that certain amount of files then the game will not work when you mod your trainers it adds multiple files to the trainer file um so it, it just when you get in the game it'll just stop on a black screen and it won't load any farther so i recommend not messing with your trainers but i will just give you show you right now what we got here so these are your um your um hold on let me go back here okay so gift these are your um your starters your starter pokemon so 810 if you get on um um pokedex you know website or whatever and you look here you look at the pokemon and you go to 810 so we'll search for 810 here 810 is Grookey. so Grookey's the first starter right so this is when you can go in and you can um you know just get whatever starter you want i'm gonna go 855 don't know who that is poltegeist okay so we're gonna do 855 for Grookey. so you want to go right here change that number 855 okay all right so Grookey is now poltegeist okay so this is 772 so 772 if we look Seven seventy-two is the type null, right? So you get type null as a gift in here as well. Um, but these are in order. So a forty-eight, a forty-eight, I think is score bunny. If I'm correct. Oh no, it's toxel. Okay. So I mean, I don't know these numbers, you know, off my, off the top of off the top of my head. A thirteen. Yeah, a thirteen is 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 one of those fellows. Yeah, score bunny. Okay, so. This is your next your next starter right here. So we want to make this something crazy, right? We want to give ourselves a legendary or something. Okay, so let's scroll all the way down. We'll load some more Pokemon. What Pokemon do we want? All right, we'll keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Um, do we want to go with like a Mewtwo? Let's go with a Mewtwo, 150, okay? We'll do that. 150. 150. 150. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, so we've now, you can do anything in here though. You can uh, change the Pokemon. Uh, you can change their abilities, change their base stats, change their moves, change what they evolve into. Um, you can go in and change the raids. You can change all static encounters all your trade encounters, all your gift encounters. Um, and then this is how you uh, change your wild Pokemon. Um, so we'll just continue, that's no easy issue. It's gonna want us to do this one. For some reason, it, it thinks it's a, a shield game, um, which is weird, um, but that's how you, um, you do your wild encounters. Um, it'll be one of those. Um, yeah. she, she's frozen. interesting so she froze on me might take her a second to open up there it goes okay so it took a second for it to uh for it to for it to load up here uh but you can see um all of the pokemon in uh axu's eye normal overcast raining thunder intense stun snowing so on and so forth those are all the pokemon that you could have a chance at catching and you can change all of them I can change it to a Zebstrika if I wanted to. Hit the save button and it would do its thing. Um, so right after this, right after you've randomized whatever you want to randomize, uh, you'll go ahead and hit file, hit the exit. You'll go back to your, um, not this, sorry. Um, you'll go back to your Pokemon game files. And this file that it created right here is what um, is, your, is your file. That's that's your modded file right there. So you what you want to do is you want to rename this to like 
randomizer or something along those lines okay then you want to go into your pokemon sword you want to go to open mod location okay this opens like your mod so if you wanted to play with a pokemon sword mod you can put it in here so when you randomize uh on the yuzu um instead of like changing the files in the game it's just a mod so you're gonna put that into your mod uh folder you'll exit out of that you'll exit out of that you'll right click on this and you'll go to properties and it shows right there that the randomizer is loaded okay so you'll go into okay or you'll you'll click okay you'll go ahead and load it up I'll put this in the middle of the screen here so we can all see it it always takes a second to launch there it goes okay so and it loaded it's perfect okay so when we go to this score bunny here let's creep up to the score bunny so score bunny is a fire type set pokemon on fire go ahead and click yes it says you choose score bunny but there it is it's a mewtwo so that's how uh you randomize on pokemon yuzu if you have any problems uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, I read all my comments. I'll help you guys out with whatever I can um, Make sure when you're doing this you download the files in the link in the description Don't go to Google and download them because most likely you'll download the wrong PKNX file and you won't be able to, to do this um, but uh, Yeah, if this video helped you out at all uh, with randomizing Pokemon Sword or Shield uh, please subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, don't forget to like the video on the way out. Um, and um, that's all. That's all I got. Hopefully it works for you guys. If it doesn't, again, leave me a comment. I'll help you out. Um, yeah. But without further ado, I will see you guys on the next video. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.